For more on this story, we can go across to Natalie Savarakas standing by. Good afternoon to you, Natalie. Talk us through what's the latest on those wildfires. Well, speaking to the fire service uh, earlier today, uh, they said two out of the five blazes uh, that have been raging in Greece uh, have been partly contained. That's in the Rhode Island uh, and the Peloponnese, not far from where I am myself. Now, Vervenochoria, which is close to Athens, is still uh, raging along with several several fire spots uh, that is making it very challenging for the firefighters uh, to address. Now, we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of firefighters deployed throughout the country. We're talking about dozens of uh, aircraft bombing water uh, on the fire and the hopes to, to douse it, but also helicopters involved. This is very much a collective effort where the army uh, is also involved. The police knocking on doors uh, when evacuations are in order. We're uh, seeing images uh, the past few days of uh, people reluctant to leave their homes, of nuns uh, reluctant uh, to leave their nunneries. So a challenging task ahead for the authorities, but one where the main priority here is very much to save lives. They haven't been as lucky when it comes to uh, the animals, but uh, for lives so far, uh, they are winning the battle. And that is very much a big concern with another heat wave uh, starting today. So help is coming from the European uh, forces. We've had uh, Europe um, coming together, Italy, France, aircraft deployed four in total. Romanian firefighters here as well. And tomorrow we're more expecting more help from Slovakia and Poland as well as Israel. Everyone coming to help Greece tackle this unprecedented heat wave. Uh, I can tell you that. Uh, Natalie, of course, this, this heat wave and these wildfires come during the very busy tourist season for Greece. Uh, it's so hot that some historical sites are being closed during the day. Yes, indeed. Now, uh, the uh, culture ministry has decided to kind of protect visitors uh, from this uh, extreme weather condition that the country is facing now. So uh, from 12 uh, o'clock onwards until 5 p.m., the uh, archaeological sites, including the uh, Acropolis, the most popular archaeological site of Greece, will be closed for tourists until Sunday, where this uh, enormous heat wave is uh, expected to last, like temperatures reaching, especially in mainland Greece, up to 45 uh, degrees Celsius. Now, on Monday, we're seeing a drop in temperatures, but only of a few uh, degrees Celsius. And that, again, is supposed to pick up until the 27th of July. Uh, I can tell you from my experience, I mean, I can barely remember a time where we've had such extreme and dangerously high temperatures for such a, a long stretch of time. And of course, what is the added concern is these uh, winds that have been fanning the blazes. And that is the main concern as well of the firefighters, really. Uh, will the wind make their difficult, uh, with life more difficult, especially with the aircraft, because if uh, the wind goes up uh, a notch, up to five or six on the Beaufort scale, it's making their task far more difficult to uh, contribute to dousing the fire with the aircraft and helicopters. Natalie, thank you very much for that. Natalie Severikas reporting there.